Hey guys, it's Dootsles here, and welcome back to another episode of Final Fantasy VII. Last time we left, we left uh, Tifa and Cloud to go do some, uh, go do some fetch questing in order to shop, stop the Shinra from getting their hands on the huge materials. Well, two of them to be specific, because they already got one. First off, we went to Mount Coral to the Coral Reactor, where we stopped a big old train that was carrying the materia. And we also got uh, Barrett's Ultimate Limit Break, which is called... I think it's called Catastrophe? Uh, is it called Catastrophe? I don't know. I don't have its name written down my notes. I think it's called Catastrophe. Um... Yep, it is. Catastrophe. Alright, and then after that, we headed to Fort Condor. I forgot how to play the game. And then we beat up a mini boss to get another huge materia. And technically, we should. Technically, the party should be going to um, Junon to find our third huge materia. But Sid kind of wants to make a detour to check up on Cloud, see how he's doing here. Now that he is, uh, you know, wheelchair ridden. So we're back at Medeal. All right, Cloud, uh, we actually never got to go beyond this clinic, so what is on- what is in this direction? The exit. Okay, so what, this is like Final Fantasy 1? I've been playing a lot of Final Fantasy 1 recently. I've picked up like the pixel remasters on Nintendo Switch, and Final Fantasy 1, well, I wouldn't say it holds up well because, you know, I'm playing the Nintendo Switch version, but it's still a pretty fun game, all things considered. Oh yeah, in here, in this house that we couldn't go into yet, we got an elixir. Because remember, we couldn't go into this house because if we went, like, beyond this place, then, um... I feel like I should have read that. Okay, this guy predicts something bad will happen. Did you just take something? Uh, uh, yeah, I took it, old man. Hey, it's mine now, and I'll make good use of it. Believe you me. <laughs> what an oddball. We'll let him use it. Stop. Jump. Stop knocking your... Hold on, what's the right verb for this? Stop throwing your neck back. Jeez. You're throwing your entire mouth at us, dog. Alright. So, what I was trying to say is that we couldn't go into this house because if we went beyond this dog right here, we would be dragged into the cutscene in the clinic. So, yeah. Let's go and see how Cloud's doing. Alright, Tifa, how, how's this condition? It's no use. I don't understand a thing, Cloud. What should I do? What if you never recover for the rest of your life? Yeah. Um, Cloud, is that you? Coming. They're they're coming. What'd you say, Cloud? Uh, damn. What the hell's going on? Cloud, this better not be you. This better not be the Mako poisoning. What's this? Oh, hey. Remember this theme? This is the theme of when the weapons attack Junon. <laughs> Life stream is gushing up from the, below the surface of the earth. Damn, that's... This is bad. Sid, what's wrong? Nothing. You and Cloud get inside quick. But I... Hey, don't worry about a thing. I ain't about to die that easily. Be careful. Alright, here I go. Watch this. Yep, it's weapon time, guys. There's another one on us. Damn, that sparking weapon. A lot of times to show up. Okay, that. Come on, you. Uh. Hold on, I gotta find a good insult for this. Come on, you detonator! Have, have some French. Pardon my French. Alright. Boss fight time! Meet! 
Come on, come on, name drop. Name drop is ultimate weapon. Big guard. Okay, starting off with Quake 2. This is a very, uh, very imposing opponent. Uh, uh, oh, good, good thing we can just ignore that attack. Uh, I'm gonna immediately cast haste on- oh god, no! Wait, wait! Vincent's dead already? Uh-oh, okay, um... Vincent, how are you dead? Okay. I have no idea what just happened. Did that really do- I didn't heal him from last episode, did I? Okay. Um... Hyper jump. Uh, non -ex You know what, we haven't used Earth- Oh my god, Vincent's dead again. Vincent, you're the one with my healing magic! Oh, why are you so frail, Vincent? I know you're the magic attacker who doesn't get any chance to do anything physical, but still- Okay then. You may be able to surmise that you are not meant to win that battle. Ultimate he Ultimate Weapon has 100,000 health. But he just kind of flies away once he reaches a certain point. So I guess we just got that through hyper jump. All right, and we we, we still have never seen uh, Nanaki's Earth Rave attack. We still haven't seen that, and we've had it for how long? And we've had access to our level four limit break for how long? Oh, by the way, you can also steal a curse ring from Ultimate Weapon, apparently, just according to my according to my notes. Get nothing from not beating. But, uh, I guess Vincent technically survived? Leave, please. You snuffer. You trying to escape? Just a little more, and I would have beaten him. I just said, he has 100,000 health. And the life stream also appears to be normal. That's- I'm settling on that. That's my Vincent voice. Damn, you gotta be kidding! This is bad! The mainstream is kicking up! Something way bigger than that last one is on its way! No good! Get out of here! What about- what about Tifa and Cloud? God damn it! Don't have time to worry about anyone other than yourself! I don't know when that stream will blow! Oh! There's no time! Hurry! Tifa! Cloud! Get out of here! Oh god, the tremors are getting worse. Wait a minute, Cloud! Doctor, shouldn't we move him somewhere? Hmm, it might be safer to move to an open area. Wait, hold on, my audio's glitching, I gotta pause. I'm sorry, one, one side of my headphones wasn't, like, getting any audio output. Anyways, uh, open area. Don't you worry about a thing, Cloud. I'll see to it that you get somewhere safe. No, the structure can't take it. Hurry! Yes! Alright, alright, Cloud. You better be, you better start running, Cloud. Ready, Cloud? We're leaving now. completely blank expression on Cloud's face. Well, I guess this is why this town is full of hot springs, as we've heard. Happening. I. Where's Cloud? Cloud, where are you?
Huh? What? Who? Who is it? I can't hear. Wait a minute. I know nothing about that. No, it's not me. I never do anything like that. No! Stop it! Stay back! Somebody, help! Please! Cloud, help me! Yeah. So anyways, how's your summer going? Where am I? Cloud? What is it, Cloud? What is this? Is this the inside of your dreams? Or is it your subconsciousness? You're searching, aren't you, Cloud? Searching for yourself. I can help, too. We'll work together to try and get the real you back. But where do we start? Alright. Three clouds. Where are we? The game isn't letting me hit triangle, so I don't know where we are. What about this guy? Starry night at the well. The promise we made then. What if that memory was all a lie? The gates of Nibelheim. Five years ago, Sephiroth passed through these gates, and that's how it all started. It connects to Nibelheim? That's right. It's probably best to start from there. The gates of Nibelheim, blah, 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 blah. Hold on. Before we do that, what does this cloud say? A sealed up secret wish. Tender feelings that no one can ever know. Huh. Wonder how the, who, who those could possibly be for. Blah, 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 blah. Let's go have a look, Cloud. I know it's not easy. I'll be here for you. Oh boy, this camera angle again. Cloud, look! Here's the well. And that's Gramps Inn, too. The only truck in town. It's been here since we were little kids, right? This is the Nibelheim you remember, right? It's the same as my Nibelheim. That's why this is a, our near Nibelheim. Right, Cloud? Right? Right? Five years ago, two men from Soldier came. Sephiroth and a young and vibrant soldier. Can you tell me again what happened? How does it feel? Five years ago, I saw the real Sephiroth for the very first time. It's your first time back to your hometown in a long time, right? So, how does it feel? I wouldn't know, because I don't have a hometown. Um, how about your parents? So, this is the great Sephiroth? My mother is Genova. She died right after she gave birth to me. My father... <laughs> but to tell you the truth, I thought he was very cold. What does it matter? Alright, let's go. I remember a foreboding about him. Cloud, how are you doing in there? No, Cloud. 
I've been hiding it for some time. Afraid that if I told you, something terrible might happen. But I'm not going to hide it anymore. You weren't here. Cloud did not come to Nibelheim five years ago. I waited, but Cloud never came. The two that were ordered here were Sephiroth and another person. All right, let's go. You mean that member of soldier who came with Sephiroth wasn't Cloud? There's nothing I can say. You must find the answer yourself. If you can't, then... Take your time, Cloud. Slowly. Little by little. Okay? You mean that member of Soldier who came with Sephiroth wasn't... Cloud? Sealed up secret wish. Tender feelings that no one can ever know. Hmm. The lore unfolds. That starry night at the well. And our promises. What if that memory was all just a lie? Don't hurry, Cloud. Don't answer too quickly. Just keep checking all those small emotions, and it'll come back. Slowly, little by little. Right, like the star, like the sky that night. The heavens were filled with stars. From the beginning, okay? Try and remember, Cloud. I was wearing these clothes. That's you, too. You were so small then. And cute. Sephiroth once said, Cloud made up his memories by listening to my stories. Did you imagine the sky? No, you remembered it. That night, the stars were gorgeous. It was just Cloud and I. We talked at the well. That's why I kept thinking you were the real Cloud. I still believe you're the Cloud from Nibelheim. But you don't believe in yourself. These memories aren't enough. Cloud, what about your other memories? No, not memories. A memory is something that is consciously recalled, right? That's why sometimes it can be mistaken or wrong. It's different from a memory locked with deep within your heart. That's why it must be a fake. If he could recall up that memory. That's it! What about some memory that has to do with me? If I say something, you can't remember it. But if you say... if. I say something in camera, but if you say something and I remember it too, then we'll know that's a memory. Talk to me about anything, some important memory to you. Now that you mention it, why did you want to join Soldier in the first place? I always thought it was a sudden decision. I was I devastated. Was devastated. I, wanted to, I wanted to be noticed. I thought if I could get stronger, someone would notice. Someone to notice you? Who? You? You know you. who? You! That's who! Me? Why? Tifa, did you forget? About those days? Look! I'm sorry, but what are you talking about? 
No, it's alright. You're having a hard time back then. You're so busy with your own things. It's only natural you don't remember me then. Then? It's important to me. I hate to say it, but it's a very important memory. Do you want to see it? Alright, Big Cloud, what are you hiding? Sealed up secret wish. Tender memories. No one can ever know. Do you know where this window goes to, Tifa? Fine, I'll go. My room? It was my first time here. Was it? I only used to look up at it from outside. Hey, look! Cloud's coming! You think he wants to come in? Was that the first day you came into my room? That's right. We lived next to each other. But I really didn't know you that well. I've known you since we were children, and I always thought we were close. Now that you mention it, I don't recall you ever being in my room. Tifa always used to have her own group. That's right. I thought they were all... stupid. What? You were all childish, laughing at every li little stupid thing. But we were children then. I know. I was the stupid one. I really wanted to play with everyone. But you never let me in the group. Then later, I started thinking I was different. That I was different from those immature kids. That then, maybe... Just maybe, they would invite me in. I thought that might happen, so I hung around. I was so prejudiced. I was so prejudiced and weak. That night I asked Tifa to come out to the well. I thought to myself Tifa would never come. That she hated me. It was so sudden. I was a bit surprised. But... It's true, we weren't that close. But... After you left town, I really thought about you a lot. I used to wonder how Cloud was doing. I wondered if you were able to get into Soldier. I started reading the newspapers, thinking I might see an article about you. Thanks, Tifa. Tell him what you told me, later. He'll probably be so happy. Okay. Huh? What happened on this day? Was it a special day? This was the day... Tifa's mother. The day mom died. I want to see mom. I wonder if there's anything beyond that mountain. Mount Nebel is scary. Many people have died there. No one crosses that mountain alive. How about those that died? 
Did Mama pass through the mountains? I'm going. Oh, I can move. Okay. I don't remember the path I walked. Tifa missed her step. I ran into her, but didn't make it in time. We both fell off the cliff. Back then, I only scarred my knees, but... Cloud, why'd you bring Tifa to a place like this? What the hell's the matter with you? What if she dies? Tifa was in a coma for seven days. We all thought she wouldn't make it. If only I could have saved her. I was so angry at myself for my weakness. Ever since then, I felt Tifa blamed me. I went out of control. I'd get into fights with anyone. That was the first time I heard about Sephiroth. I thought if I were strong like Sephiroth, then... If I could just get stronger, then even Tifa would have to notice me. So, that was it? Sorry, Cloud. If I'd only remembered more clearly what happened, I could have done something sooner. It's not your fault, Tifa. But I remember back when we were eight. That's it, now I know. You weren't created five years ago. My childhood memories weren't all made up. Hang in there, Cloud, just a little longer. You've almost found the real you. Let's go back to Nibelheim again. Alright, what's there to find in Nibelheim again? The truth is right there. We almost have the answer right in the palm of our hands. Alright, let's do this. Who was here five years ago? Where's Cloud in this whole or ordeal? Cloud, wait! Where are you going? The reactor? To the reactor! The Mako reactor of five years ago! Hey, it's Cloud! With black hair! Zack, you remembered! Huh, where have, we, where have we heard that name before? That's right! It was Zack who came to Nibelheim with Sephiroth! Then where were you, Cloud? Cloud, did you see it all? 
I saw everything. you mom tifa my town give it back i had so much respect for you i admired you cloud That's what happened. You were there. You were watching me. Dude, this is like a Harrowbrine reveal video. Yeah, I remember. Hmm, so it was you? Hey, Cloud, if you're feeling sick, why don't you take that mask off? Yeah. Yeah. This is... me. I'd never made it as a member of Soldier. I even left my hometown telling everyone I was going to join, but... I was so embarrassed. I didn't want to see anybody. How does it feel? It's your first time back to your hometown in a long time, right? I'm... You came. You kept your promise. So you really did come when I was in trouble. Sorry, I didn't get there sooner. It's alright, Cloud. Just. Like. You. Oh, hey, there's the Genova head. Remember the headless woman in the Shinra building? I guess that's where the head went. Cl Cloud, kill Sephiroth. Sephiroth. Don't push it. It can't be. And now we also know why Sephiroth is fossilized in the northern crater. He fell into the life stream itself five years ago and washed up up north. Cloud. Then this is goodbye, Tifa, until we meet again. Huh?
All right, Cloud. I think we know where you were for the past in the past five years. Cloud. Tifa? Oh, Cloud, it's really you, isn't it? Yeah, Tifa, we finally meet again. You stupid little jerk, you had us all worried sick! Gah. Cloud, are you alright? You just called him a stupid little jerk, Tifa. Voice. There. I see. We're in the life stream, aren't we? Everyone's everyone's waiting. Let's go back, Cloud. Back to everyone. Yeah, I guess so. Come on, Tifa. Let's go home. Yo! You alright, Tifa? Uh... Barrett, you came back. I... Cloud, where is he? Don't worry about him. He's a tough one. Barrett, I... When I was in the live stream, I saw the real Cloud. I mean, I didn't really find him. Cloud, he found himself. Alright, I know. I shouldn't have doubted. But I can't win against you. You're some kind of lady. People have so many things pent up inside of themselves. So many things they can never forget. Strange, isn't it? Yo, Tifa, snap out of it! Tifa? Oh, come on, no. Don't kill off the other female protagonist. Okay, we're fine. Everyone, I'm sorry. I don't know what to say. Don't say anything, Cloud. All you've been doing is apologizing. I never was in Soldier. I made up the story about what happened five years ago and my being in Soldier. I left my village looking for glory, but I never made it into Soldier. I was so ashamed of being so weak, and I heard the story from my friend Zack, and created an illusion of myself made up of what I'd seen in my life, and continued to play the charade as if I as if it were true. Illusion, huh? Pretty damn strong for an illusion. Physically, I'm built like somebody in Soldier. Hojo's plan to clone Sephiroth wasn't that difficult. It was just the same procedure they used when creating members of Soldier. You see, someone in Soldier isn't simply exposed to Mako energy. Their bodies are actually injected with Genova cells. For better or for worse, only the strong can enter Soldier. It has nothing to do with the Genova reunion. But weak people, like me, get lost in the whole thing. The combination of Genova's cells, Sephiroth's strong will, and my own weakness are what created me. Everyone knew that. I'm Cloud. The matter of my own illusionary world, Master. But I can't remain trapped in an illusion anymore. I'm going to live my life without pretending. You're sure messed up, Cloud. That means he ain't no different from before! By the way, Cloud, what are you going to do now? Don't tell me you're going to leave the ship! I'm the reason why Meteor is falling towards us. That's why I have to do everything in my power to fight this thing. Good! And you're gonna keep fighting to save the planet? It's like you always, always told me, Barrett. 
Oh, uh, you mean that? What? I don't understand. There ain't no getting off of this train! Next time on Final Fantasy VII, Cloud rejoins the party, and we're gonna take a look at what the hell is going on in Junon. Everyone, see you guys then! Cloud, I was deeply moved by your story. I'm a really weak person, so I can really understand how you feel, Cloud. No one knows when fighting will begin, but let's get ready! Oh yeah, we gotta pick our party. You know what? For reasons that will not be seen yet. Let's go with Sid and Tifa. Listen, Cloud. We're right in the middle of the mission for the huge materia, right? I know this is kind of out of the blue, but Junon has an underwater reactor. As far as I can see, that's the only one left. That's it! Let's go! And now... Today, we did some cool stuff. We... We went inside Cloud's memories. We saw that he wasn't the one who... Well, he was in Nibelheim, just not the main character. That was Zack. Character that we've heard of before. You know. I feel like... Aerith knew him pretty well. I guess Sephiroth has lied to us too. Right, Tifa? Next time Final Fantasy of 7, we're going to June. I'll see you guys then. Hey, this is your food. Oh, here! Put this on. It smells a little, but don't complain. You look pretty good with that. Well... Yo, old guy. We at Midgar yet? Shut up! You're lucky I even gave you a ride. What are you gonna do once we get to Midgar? Um, I know what I'm gonna do. I got a place I can crash for a while. No, wait, the mother lives there too. Guess that's out. Yep, gotta change my plans. Hmm, no matter what I do, I need to get some money first. Hey, want to start a business? Now what could we do? Hey, 
cloud. Here's anything I'd be good at. Hey, old guy. What do you think I'd be good at? What are you yapping about? Still too young, ain't ya? Young folks should try everything. You gotta pay your dues while you're young. Go and look for what you really want. Try everything. It's easy for him to say. Hey! Of course! I got more brains and skill than most other guys. That settles it. I'm gonna become a mercenary. Yeah, thanks, Pops. Hey, didn't you even hear a word I said? Listen, I'm gonna become a mercenary, and that's that. Boring stuff, dangerous stuff, anything for money. I'm gonna be rich! So, Cloud, what are you going to do? No, wait, you got it all wrong. I, uh... Ah, just kidding. I won't leave you hanging like that. We're friends, right? Mercenaries, Cloud. That's what me and you are gonna be. Understand, Cloud? What do you want me to do with him? Uh, uh. Forget it. Just leave him. X month, X day. Two escapees were located near Midgar. Escapee report number two. Description at the time of capture. A. Former member of Soldier. Number redacted. No effect could be detected from either Maka radiation therapy or Genova on him. B. Regular. Number redacted. Reaction to Genova detected. Escapee report number three. Status. A. Shot for resisting. B. Escape during A's resistance. Escape your report number four. Other. B's whereabouts is currently unknown, but pursuit is unnecessary due to his diminishing consciousness, awaiting further instructions.